So it's been a couple days since the last time I was filming. We finally got Cassie's car back to town and to the dealership. It's probably going to need a transmission. Hopefully Nissan pays for part of it because it's it's a lemon law situation really. Like there's tons and tons of lawsuits because those Nissan CVT transmissions just fall apart. But I'm heading to the car wash now to try to wash this thing yet again. So that Tour Sport light that was flashing the other day stopped flashing and it was only illuminating whether I had a suspension set to Tour or Sport, but now I just pulled into the car wash and it's flashing again. But the uh, fuel gauge works now, so that's cool. The uh, shifting is getting really rough. I'm hoping it is slave cylinder or master cylinder, but I actually met a guy at work that said he has a uh, VR4 Spider 3000 GT and that he's had like three other 3000 GTs or stealths. And uh, he said he's had to put a transmission in a couple of those because of the same exact issue, like really hard to go into gear. It was just the synchros but I am going to try to uh, change the fluid in the transmission just to see if it helps and then also uh, bleed the clutch um, by actually pumping it and letting air out at the slave cylinder rather than just gravity bleeding it like I did before to help force more air out of the lines if there is any air in the lines and then if it continues I'll replace the clutch slave cylinder and master cylinder before I try to uh, find a transmission to replace that but that's the biggest issue I've found so far is transmission shifting so let's get this thing scrubbed down though so at least it looks good even if it doesn't drive because you can't shift it at least it'll look good I do have some concerns about water leaking through here because um it just kind of does that uh there's like it's like a manual crank sunroof weird right but it's from 1993 so don't judge but um, it has gears in there that are supposed to just raise this up and let it down. And it's pretty common for those gears to just fall apart. So it doesn't really like seal properly. And I hear a lot of air noise from it when you're going pretty fast. So uh, hopefully it doesn't leak. That would, that would suck. There was no water inside the car from it sitting for two years. So I would think that at some point it's rained hard enough to where if it was gonna leak, it would have leaked but I don't see any signs of like water it doesn't smell like musty in here or anything like that like water's been sitting in here so hopefully it doesn't leak also these cars usually leak like right around this seal um, when you go through car washes and stuff and my red car does it pretty bad so I'm also hoping it doesn't leak too bad there but I usually try to manually wash it only that way I can avoid spraying right against that seal um, to help keep it from leaking but We'll see. So it's only been a few days since I've had the tires put on and I've already had to air them up. One of them was at 18 PSI and one was at like 13 PSI. So they're leaking and I imagine it, they're leaking right around the bead where the rims are corroded like this. They'll be corroded like that actually where the tire seals. But once I get some soapy water on this thing, the leaks will be revealed. So. So I forgot to film it, but this is what it looks like when you spray soapy water on a tire that's leaking around the bead. And this is what pretty much all four tires look like on the car when the soapy water got on the wheels. I may have to get rims before I wanted to really get spend money on rims, but we'll see.
sorry for the audio there's there's vacuums going like all around me people sweeping out their cars i've scrubbed it down like three times now and there's still just tons of uh, grime and shit in the nooks and crannies. But I did bring, but I did bring a little hand brush and a rag just so I can kind of get some places that the big brush can't get. But yeah, you can see there's still just grime and all the little cracks and stuff. Still just pieces of freaking moss and stuff coming out of like every fucking crevice on this thing. Especially the back because I can't really get under here too well. So every time I rinse it, there's like a ton of this shit coming out. But eventually it should be clean unless it's producing moss as fast as I can uh, wash it off. All right, so I'm gonna soak the car down really good with the brush and then I'm gonna use my hand brush and rag to uh, get in all the tight spots. That's what she said. There was even snails living on this car. Snails. So we've definitely reached a pivotal point in our relationship. I just scrubbed all of her cracks and crevices and boy were they dirty. Yeah. Rinse all that off and uh, wash it yet again. Let's head out. All right, let's head out. Let's head out. Let's head out. I just realized what time it is, and uh, I need to be at work in like a half hour, so I'm gonna hurry up. close to done it is much better though still want to clean the wheels a little better even though they are shitty at least clean them up best I can I want to clean around the door sills they're all really disgusting the engine bay is dirty too but I don't know whether I want to power wash the whole engine bay that scares me <laughs> or at least clean like the sides and stuff where it's actually painted white I didn't notice any water that had leaked in around the uh, sunroof but it did leak a little bit over here on this door at the seal. Same thing my red car does, super common. But it wasn't too bad. 
yeah I definitely ran out of time so we'll pick this up at a later date thank you guys for watching